Digimon. And those digital monsters. We are back. Well, I am back. Luke Holiday from Snap30, I'm back. With a another... Picking up a little bit after where we last left off. Bit of an update. These are my Digimon now. I've got Starmon, which I've nicknamed Starman. I've got a uh, Darugamon, which I've nicknamed the Doors. And I've got Stingmon, which I've nicknamed Carmen Rider. So I've got a few others, but I'm gonna just you know, leave it there for time being. I actually don't quite remember what I was last doing, so I'm gonna try and figure that out before I um, go on with anything else. I think that would be probably be a good idea. Um, so it's been been a couple days since I last played Digimon, so I don't quite <laughs> remember what I was doing. Um, well, I got a Digimon text. I'm raising a cam with Digimon. What ma makes what occur during battle? Don't know. I'm not going to answer you. Justify you with an answer. So I think I took a. Maybe I took a thing to do, I don't know. Um, what is my mission, guys? Anyone know what my bloody mission is? For you? Oh. Well, I just discovered the... I guess it's like the Pokedex. I hadn't seen this before until now, so... Interesting. Hello to the two people watching. Alright. What the hell? Okay, so those of you who have not um, seen this game before, this is a Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. It is a pretty damn good game. Oh, I have no case at the moment. I've got no case. I'm gonna just. I'll talk to her. Weren't you meeting Nokia at Gal in Galactia Park? Oh, okay. So I remember what I was doing. <laughs> pretty much. Um, our good friend Nokia3310 is, uh, pretty much wanting me to help her track down these, uh, Digimon that she, uh, met at the beginning of the game and kind of lost. So, I'm gonna go help her find Gabumon and Agumon. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Galactifar. Nokia, where are you? An apathetic businessman, man, he really is so apathetic. Shit about nothing. Um, I'm gonna presume this isn't Galactic Park because he is not here. Security improvements. I'll protect myself by myself. All right. So, in the search for Nokia, we have yet to find her once again. Where the hell is Galacta Park? I'm gonna presume this is it. Um. Let's talk to this hacker. Hi, hi, I'm Mr. Navid. Oh, shut up, Mr. Navid. Where the hell is go- I am just utterly confused. Sorry, what happens when you don't play a game for a couple of days? Oh, 
Nice to see my Digimon. How bitter. I love Stingmon. He just looks like he's from Kamen Rider. I like me some Kamen Rider. Hey, I found her! So this is Galactopark. Okay. Uh oh. Hang on. What is it with you guys? Do you want something for me? Hee <laughs> hee. You got a nice one, don't you? Um, a nice... What? What do you mean a nice one? You wanna make us come out and say it? Where's Zaxxon Hackers? Oh shit. The Lincoln Hackers shut the hell up. You can figure out that much by yourself, right? You're not a kid after all. Uh oh, spaghetti -os. Another kid? What? You're kidding me. Whoa, hey, hang on. Do you not step? A nice one? What? Is she talking about her bosom? Or her booty? Or perhaps something else? This isn't what flirting is supposed to be, is it? Ick, no way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What an innocent girl. Lucky the character who looks like her brother is here that is in no way related to her, which is me. Hang on, Froggy, where are you? Where, where were you? You're late. I don't even read. Because you're late. Look at the situation I am in. They got me dead to rights here. <laughs> what? Who knows what they'll do to me. You're in a game. I don't think there's much they can do to you. What the heck are you talking about? And who the heck are you? A friend of hers? Wait, were these guys going to... Um, hack her? <laughs> That's, this is just too weird. This is just strange. I, I don't know what the implication was there, but I don't really think I want to know it. Um, what move do I use? Alright, let's do this Gale Storm. Damages all foes. I haven't seen these guys before. That's pretty good. Man waiting in the sky, he'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'll blow our mind. Starman, rocking the Casbah. Alright, so Starman is like, really close to being able to evolve. I really want him to evolve. Bean. Oh, nuts. I won't forget this. Yeah, okay. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Who says that? Nobody. That's it. What's a Zax? Oh, my God. These people. They really suck. Doesn't matter how much I'm rocking this board. Is... I... What is this game implying here? Like... Oh, so they were trying to raid your account, not uh, just raid you, so... I said raid. Raid. R-A-I-D. Uh-oh. My virtue was at risk? <gasps> um... What should I say? Um... I really don't think they were flirting for... An Actually, I think they were, so I don't think I'm here to protect you. Yes, I'll keep you safe. Bitch. Okay, so... She's just been basically become my bitch now. Um, shut the hell up. I will say this, the texting and people in this game is just so annoying. Now, what are these people I'm saying? Please, would you shut? The hell? Oh. I 
So while I'm playing, I've also got the uh, Twitter feed up, and I'm gonna say, man, uh, some people are talking about this bloody uh, new Pokemon, and it just makes me realise I'm really glad such a good Digimon game is out because. Fuck, I don't know what's going on with Pokemon lately. And that new Pokemon they brought out, uh, I can't remember what its name is. It's just terrible. Oh, cross combo. Baby. Stingmon is just an absolute boss, if I am saying so myself. And I believe he is a champion. And by that I do mean champion level Digimon. Okay, so um wall crack two. Um what the hell am I meant to do here? How am I meant to crack this? Am I meant to crack this? I've got to use my hacking skill. Oh, okay, I, I don't have that hacking ability yet, I guess. Which, okay. Let's try and find... Uh, good morning, Gavamon. I've been to Kowloon so many times, yet I just, you know, don't seem to find. Ah, uh, good morning, Gavamon, so let's hope they're here this time. Now, I don't understand with Starman, or Starmon, I should say. He has like the headband, but it only goes around the inside of his like head, not around his star part. Which was around the star part. Star mon. Yeah, I'm way too high level for this area right now. I need to hack that next level or something. Like that. What the hell? This is just insane. A little bit too much. Um, okay, I guess I go through here. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I've almost got... <laughs> that Wanyamon, I have so many, like, different Wanyamons and I'm so... Oh, please, Starmon, just destroy it. What? Miss? God damn you, Starmon. Starmon, what is he really? He's not actually a star. He's just some black ball with arms. Is that even proper? I think his arms are like robotical. Whatever that means. <sighs> Again, this is the quest to save Agumon and Gabumon. Oh my god, on die! Alright, here we go. Shorty Oak and. Scan Beomon, so I can probably get her now. Now, while I'm just running around and battling a bunch of Digimon, I will actually like to share a bit of a um, story about, a, you know, a bit of a personal story about Digimon. And um, a bit of meaning that the Digimon series has for me personally. Um, I was privileged enough um, because of my, you know, writing work um, to actually be able to interview Mamoru Hosoda um, 
who of course directed the uh, Our War Game film for the Digimon series, which many people still believe is uh, probably the best. And over in English uh, language release, that was um, the middle part of uh, the Digimon movie, as it was told here. Um, of course, there's uh, Diabora Mon in the, the digital world looking thing that looks similar to Eden actually. So, if you remember um, that movie, you'll look at Eden in this game and go, hmm, that's quite similar. And, um, yeah, so I actually I actually interviewed Mamoru Hosoda myself and I was very privileged to do so and I spoke to him and I told him about a story when I was very young. I went to uh, my local shopping centre um, and they had a big, you know, big hubbub for Digimon the movie. And they had like all the, you know, someone dressed as Agumon and they were giving away VHS copies of the film. And um, they were basically asking questions and one of the questions was something like, Oh, who does um, Patamon evolve to? And they basically pulled me up on stage, this little little Luke Halliday up on stage, and um, I gave the answer Anjumon. And, you know, I, I won that VHS, and I was so happy I got to, you know, cuddle Agumon, or someone dressed as Agumon at least. And um, at the time, I just, you know, I was a Digimaniac. All I cared about was Digimon, I loved it so much. Um, and for me, you know, that was the be all end all. And, that movie, I had to have watched it, you know, hundreds of times. And, um, I told Mamoru Hosoda that story when I interviewed him, and, um, he said to me, I, uh, you know, obviously for a translator, I'm, you know, really amazed that my work was able to touch someone, you know, on the other side of the world. Uh, I don't know, I think that's something quite amazing that, you know, something like an anime or an anime movie or, you know, even a video game could have such a powerful, you know, pull on someone on the other side of the planet. And for me, Digimon did, and, you know, it was just a very proud moment for me getting to meet the man who put that movie together that I cherished so much as a child. Anyways, back to the story of the game. Actually, I've got a question in the chat. In the chat, I've got Virtual Muser saying, uh, Virtual Muser in the house. Do they shake up the variety in terms of locations, or is it the digital dungeon all the time? Um, in regards to that, the location does shake up. Um, for most of these videos, I've been in the same location, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, um, I haven't gotten too far in the game yet myself, but there is definitely other locations. 